so let us start with the next part application of binomial theorem it is help to find the remainders okay so find the remainder when 2 raised to 60 is divided by 7 now the process is we will observe powers of 2 and multiples of 7 powers of 2 goes like this 2 raised to 1 is 2 then 4 8 16 multiple of 7 7 14 21 now we check that if any power of 2 and multiples of 7 are nearby so as you can see power of 2 cube 2 cube is 8 and 7 into 1 is 7 okay so we will be writing 2 raised to 60 as 2 cube raised to 20 now this 2 cube is 8 raised to 20 now this 8 is 7 plus 1 raised to 20 now we expand 7 plus 1 raised to 20 using the binomial theorem so the answer will be 20 c 0 7 raised to 20 20 c 1 7 raised to 19 up to 20 c 19 7 raised to 1 plus 20 c 20 now we can observe that every term except last has 7 in it okay so this means by taking 7 common we will get the following result 7 into 20 c 0 7 raised to 19 the power will be reducing by 1 20 c 19 and the term which is left is 20 c 20 which was 1 so now this term here says that remainder is 1 because it's like 7 is the divisor so divisor into quotient plus remainder this is how we get the answer moving further find the remainder when 25 raised to 300 is divided by 13 so here we will talk about powers of 25 first is 25 next is 625 13 ones are 13 twos are 26 so here we can see 25 and 26 the multiple of 13 here is 2 powers of 25 is 26 so we will write 25 as 26 minus 1 raised to 300 now the expansion will be done by using binomial theorem so the terms will be 300 c0 26 raised to 300 and the signs will be alternately plus minus and the last term second last term will be minus 300 c2 299 into 26 raised to 1 plus 300 c 300 into 1 now as you can see here every term except the last term has 26 in it so if i take 26 common 26 will be obviously divisible by 13 okay and the last term will be left hence the remainder will be 300 c 300 that is equal to 1 now find the remainder when 7 raised to 105 is divided by 25 so here we will talk about powers of 7 first 7 square is 49 7 cube is 343 25 ones are 25 25 twos are 50 25 and as you can see 50 is the nearest multiple of 25 to the powers of 7 so 50 can be written as 49 plus 1 that means 49 can be written as 50 minus 1 so here as you can see 7 raised to 105 can be written as 7 into 7 raised to 104 which is 7 into 7 square raised to 52 and 7 square is 49 raised to 52 now this 49 will be written as 50 minus 1 raised to 52 now as you can see here in the expansion of 50 minus 1 raised to 52 you will have a 7 outside and all the terms inside the bracket okay so the expansion goes like this and the last term here is 52 c 52 and the second last term will be minus 52 c 51 50 raised to 0 every term has 50 in it okay up to the second last term but the last term doesn't have a 50 in it so the last term into 7 will be the remainder that is 1 into 7 is the remainder Thank you.